Bad dog. Ah. Bad dog. Oh, hey guys, I didn't see you there. Uh, it's time for more Let's Play Jet Force Gemini. Wow. <laughs> uh, last time we got some of the tribals and cleared out the bluff section of Rithessa, and then we turned in that naughty magazine to Fernando. And now this dog's apparently dead. So we're just going to get out of here and go into the mines and rescue some tribals. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. Here we go. Uh, that, that was not unjustified. That dog hurts you. He comes after you and, or she comes after you and bites you. Anyway, we're treated to some nice water ruin music in here. And, uh, no enemies to speak of in this area, which is nice. I need my pistol, though, because I need to shoot a few things. And I'm running out of ammo. I wish there was a diamond geezer down here, because that would make things a bit easier. A lot of single unit health Gemini things down here, but you really don't need them unless you really got owned in the last area. Good. Great. This is probably one of the only places where I've actually seen the mining animation on the tribals. Usually they're stuck in places that have absolutely no mining facilities or they're like stuck on spaceships somewhere and they still have pickaxes for whatever reason but they you know they throw them at you to get your attention but here they're actually doing work. It's a shock. But anyway uh, it's you know, not a very interesting area. There's not a lot going on Aside from some hard labor. Now you want to blow up this suspiciously placed box and shoot that switch so it'll bring this lift down. And while you're waiting for it, you might as well grab the tribals. Nothing else? Good. It's very slow moving, this lift. In fact, all the lifts down here are, they're very slow. Coupled with the music and no enemies, it makes this area kind of boring. It'll put you to sleep. And also the layout can be a little confusing because a lot of it loops around. There's another mole brother over here. You guys are great. You're doing a bang up job. Keep it up. Well. That doesn't help me one bit, unfortunately. Uh, I don't know what the point of that was, but maybe, just maybe, there'll be a way to get something else out of him while we're in here. Keep on moving along. The beams that have fallen down will make this area a little bit harder to traverse. Not impossible, but... Ooh, tribal? Uh... Whoa! The way you're designed, you're almost a little too big to get through some of them, and you have to awkwardly jump through them. Now, there's a lift and a tribal down there, and, uh... Might as well get them while we're here. There's a safer way. It loops around down into there, so... You don't lose health, but there's so much extra life down here that it's not going to bother me that much to take a take a hit. Shoot that switch, and we go back up. Let's keep running along here. Join the music. Jump over this. There aren't actually any mine cards, but there's plenty of uh, track. Costume pad, which we'll note for later. A mother tribal and an infant tribal. I mean, that tribal is tiny. Puny.
some money. Uh, there's lots of Mizar money thrown around here, but no Diamond Geezer to speak of. Again, Vela could really use it. I'll probably head to some other planet that has it and uh, fill her up. Yes, we are. Alright, if you take this path to the left here, it'll take you back out to the second path that I didn't take with the Mining Mole Brother. And we want to take this uh, route over here. Get in, shoot this. Now, if we had gone down where that platform was, with the lone tribal that I grabbed, it would take us down here. And I'll show you once we get to the bottom. There's water at the bottom, too, so... There we go. It'll take you in here, and there's no switch to activate that lift. So you wouldn't be able to get up to the top. But you need to come down here to grab the fuel pad, because that lift doesn't go up the whole way either, it, even when you get it down here. Actually, you wouldn't be able to use it after you get it down here. It's underwater now. Head on up. Not there. Just keep going. There it is. We go in here. We find the last two tribals in the area. Jump into this bonus feature totem. And we head back down. Whoa! Oh, God. It's a good thing that water was there. Alright, now we're going to head back to that costume pad and put it to use. I wonder what kind of costume they'll give us in here. What's the point? There aren't any, uh drones or anything interesting in this area. We're just going to have to find out. I doubt they'd put another nightclub in here somewhere. Oh, come on. There we go. Here we go. Feels like an eternity trying to get to this thing. And we turn into... A tribal? Well, hmm. Let's go back and talk to uh, that mining mole brother. Who doesn't have a name, by the way. If, if he does, he doesn't tell us. But let's head back. Maybe he'll treat us a bit differently now that we're a slave. He changed it so we're not holding a weapon. It looks really awkward when she's running with that gun. There we go. The guns change sizes depending on the model, so it looks really tiny and it looks really awkward. In fact, since it's kind of a sprite swap, she doesn't run very well either. Of course, I think this is also another incentive to play the multiplayer mode where I think you can pick a tribal to play as also. Alright, what's your story now, guy? Just between you and me, furry, the Jet Force do-gooders want to break up our little party. Having Mizar in power isn't such a bad idea, you know. Could give us a lot of room for expansion. Well, okay, I guess we know whose side this guy's on. You don't really mind working for a good old farmer, do you? Oh, I guess his name's Farmer. Come on, I'm not that bad. Anyway, you like mining. <laughs> I like money. It's the perfect partnership. You never know. I might even start paying you one day. But don't hold your breath. Look, this is what Jet Force will... Look, this is what Jet Force will be after? Oh, that's a weird sentence. If I give it to you, can you go <laughs> and bury it somewhere? 
Sure thing, boss. I'll take care of it. Yeah, give us that whatever it is. Oh, how convenient. It's a spaceship piece. Nice. Well, I need to get back to work. And that's it. There's nothing left to do. We got the spaceship piece and the tribals. I'm pretty certain we're done with this planet, but I'll go double check somewhere after this video is over. So that concludes this part of Let's Play Jet Force Gemini. I'll see you next time. If we're done with Rithessa, um, we're not out of places to go. But uh, I will figure that out and see you guys next time. Uh, thanks for watching and all that good stuff. Yeah, later guys.